compared with the V12 powered car that launched the all new DB11 range last year. The 2018 Aston Martin DB11 V8 has four fewer cylinders, develops 97 horsepower less, and its torque output falls short by 18 pounds feet. And it's the better car for it. The DB11 V8 looks virtually identical to its gorgeous V12 powered sibling. But under that thrusting hood is one of our favorite engines, the thundering 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 developed by AMG, whose parent company, Daimler, owns a 5% stake in Aston Martin. Codenamed M178, this engine is a versatile yet charismatic workhorse, powering all versions of the AMG GT Coupe as well as the 63 series AMG versions of Mercedes sedans, coupes, wagons, and SUVs, with outputs ranging from 469 horsepower to more than 600 horsepower. In DB11 trim the engine makes 503 horsepower and 498 pounds-feet of torque, about the same output it delivers when fitted in the Mercedes-AMG GTS coupe. Changes made by Aston engineers include a new intake system, new engine mounts, a new slimline wet sump, unique engine mapping, and a new exhaust system. Aston claims the DB11 V8 will accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 4.0 seconds and has a top speed of 187 miles per hour. Okay, the DB11 V8 is a tenth or two slower to 60 than its 12 cylinder sibling, and it won't hit 200 miles per hour. And none of that matters, because for the overwhelming majority of DB11 owners, those are utterly abstract numbers. What does matter is the M178 reduces the weight over the DB11's front axle by 253 pounds when compared with Aston's own 5.2-liter twin-turbo V12. It matters because you can feel it every day. From the very first corner, you notice the steering seems more responsive than in the DB11 V12. Less weight over the front axle helps, but the 2% rearward shift in weight distribution means the yaw center of the car, the vertical axis about which it turns, is more rearward, closer to where you sit, enabling you to better feel what the rear axle is doing. And its subtle changes to the rear suspension that really make the difference to the way the DB11 V8 drives. The rear shock rates have been stiffened, along with the bushes for the rear subframe and the rear camera link, improving both lateral and vertical support. The result, says Aston Vehicle Dynamics Chief Matt Becker, is about a 10% increase in lateral stiffness at the tire contact patch. You can work the front of the car a lot harder as a consequence, he says, because the rear is just much more honest. When pushed, the DB11 V8 definitely feels grippier on corner entry than the 12-cylinder car, and it's more compassed through turns, 